a comeback. Rafael Ruiz, La Vida Loca, the former lightweight world champion, bravely battled each and every opponent, winning the world title. 56 bouts, 42 knockouts. Then, the world collapsed. They said he was done. But Rafael didn't listen. Viva Ruelas. Gone for a year, he's back. And he's bad. Ready for 10 rounds of smoke and light. Welcome back to Sunday Night Fights on Fox Sports Net. We're about to be back. We come now to our main event. This 10 rounds of the super lightweight division, the former champion Rafael Ruelas against the upstart Hiklet Lau, a man with something to prove. Hiklet Lau really does believe that he can go out there and win this fight tonight. He looks very calm right now as he prepares to enter the ring, getting himself loose. Very important for a fighter, even though the temperatures outside are very warm and it won't take much to get loosened up. On the other hand, Rafael Ruelas is very confident. He's a guy who's been there before. Experience he feels well out tonight. He wants one more chance at a title. And he's a guy who feels what he knows in the sport of boxing will be enough to get him that far, especially against Hicklet Lau. Rafael Ruelas is a man with his eyes focused firmly on the future. But while he looks ahead to that one more chance, he also best looked back at what got him pondering retirement in the first place. In an elimination fight with Costa Zou a year ago, Ruelas was hammered into submission in dramatic fashion. He's back now, but by choice, not necessity. Thank God I'm I, it's not the case with me, you know. I'm doing financially, I'm doing well, you know, I have a nice house, you know, I, I bought a, a house for my parents, you know. I'm doing well. I've invested in the stock market. You know, I'm taking. I'm going to school at UCLA. I've been pursuing a personal financial planning, you know, career. I'm doing well with that, and I'm going to continue to, you know, pursue that title also. So there's that brass ring out there. Still, he feels within his grasp. Retirement seemed viable, but upon further review, well, fighters fight. You know, having rested, I started thinking more and more about it. And even as I was going to school, you know, I, I missed it. And I figured, you know what, I'm only 28. When I give it another, sh another you know, shot, I figured, hey, you know, I've had 56 fights. I've had 52 wins, you know, four losses, which I really only consider two of those as losses, which are Oscar and Zoo, you know. Yeah, so I figured, hey, why not give myself another shot? Hicklet Lau had only a single loss in his first 11 fights, but then four losses sidetracked the title run. He's gone from brawler to boxer, and tonight, back. It's just in me. It's just, I'm a fighter. That's, it's just, I, everybody tells me, why do I do it? It's just, that's just me. You know, I was born for that. That's just how I feel comfortable inside the ring. And some of the losses I have is, they told me to box, and it just didn't work for me because I'm just a natural fighter inside. That's how I got all the wins I had as an amateur, and that's how I got the Ws that I have. Tonight, Hicklin hopes to contribute to the Rafael Ruelas Retirement Fund by making certain a college degree is more attainable than a world title. Rafael Ruelas has been through a lot of tough fights, tough opponents. He's taken a lot of punishment in his career, and I think it's time for him to hang his gloves. And tonight, I'm going to convince him of that. Now into the ring looking very calm. He is a guy, of course, who has been there before. But you have an idea that he could be looking at the end of the road if he loses this fight. Well, you know, one of the things we're going to see tonight is how Rafael can come back from the adversity that he suffered in that last fight with Costa Zou. And after he lost those fights to De La Hoya and George Scott, he made it a pretty good comeback. He fought, he won nine in a row. And he fought some good fighters, beat them along the way, and then came the disaster against Zou. Now he's got to do that all over again, regroup all over again, and prove to everyone all over again that he's still a viable contender. I thought it was interesting. Hicklet Lau said he's going to kind of dance with what brung him. And what brung him, he said, was being a brawler. He did well when he brawled. Didn't do so well when he tried to be a boxer. Well, yeah, he's, uh, I think that that's not really a bad idea. Probably the most uh, notable uh, victory for him on his uh, ledger would be the win over Kevin Watts that you see referred to. And he did get a win in his last fight over Eugene Johnson. And I think Lau would be wise to try to jump right on Ruelas because Rafael does not start his fight as... Uh, does not start his fights fast. So I think Lau should probably go right to him. You know Relis very well. Is he a guy you feel at this point might be questioning himself even a little bit? Well, I don't know if he's questioning himself, but he, I think he wants to prove to himself uh, something. He wants to have a victory over himself, so to speak. Uh, his uh, last fight was, of course, that one over against Costa Zou, as you see referred to there. But 
really, he has fought a number of great fighters. Not just Zou, but you saw De La Hoya, Jorge Paez, a magnificent fight to win the championship against Freddie Pendleton when he got off the canvas twice to have to come back and win that uh, fight by decision. It was a great, great night for uh, Raphael. Well, we're going to get all the answers in a very short time. We take you right now to the center of the ring, and the ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon. Jimmy? Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the new Frontier Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada, for the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by America Presents matchmaker Thomas Brown. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Dr. Elias Ghanem, commissioners Glenn Carano, Lorenzo Fertitta, Dr. Luther Mack, and Dr. James Nave, with the executive director, Mark Rettner. Introducing to you our judges, scoring this bout from ringside, Chuck Jumpa, Al Lefkowitz, and Paul Smith. And introducing to you our referee in charge of this bout, Joe Cortez. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing in the super lightweight division. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us across the nation, live from the New Frontier Hotel and Casino, it's fight time on Fox Sports Net and our main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks, and joining us from Miami, Florida. He weighed in at 140 and one half pounds. His record stands at 11 wins, five losses, one draw with six wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Hicklet Lau. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10-round scheduled attraction, wearing white trunks with green and red trim, fighting out of Studio City, California, by way of his home of Yerba Buena, Jalisco, Mexico. His weight, 141 pounds. His record stands at 52 wins, four losses, with 42 big wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the return of the former IBF lightweight champion of the world, introducing Rafael Ruela. Once again, our referee in charge, Joe Cortez, now to give instructions. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Both know the rules in the Nevada State Athletic Commission. I'm here to enforce them. Give me a good, clean fight. Touch them off. Good luck. Take a look at the numbers in this fight as we see the tail of the tape. And uh, Rafael Reyes is uh, five years older than Hicklet Law. Never thought we'd see him be older than an opponent, yet he is the veteran now. Hicklet Law is the upstart. Big reach advantage for Ruelas. Lau says he's going to brawl him. Ruela says that's just fine with me. We'll see what happens.